What's going on, y'all? This is your boy E Bike Guy back with another video. And today we're going to be doing a uh, test on the, the 18 650 battery I built uh, temporarily for my e bike, uh, 8000 watt e bike, and everything. So we're going to be crossing the street and we're going to be testing out and everything. And um, so I have it set to 180. 180 DC uh, line amps, 400 phase. And what we're trying to do is, uh, we're gonna see how many kilowatts uh, that's gonna put out to be. Uh, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put the graph up the uh, from the four driver up on the um, left hand corner so y'all can see it. Yeah, my, my 72 volt battery's being built, uh, but I'm waiting on some more cells to come in so I can build it. And uh, well, I wanted to talk to you about something. You know, I'm, I'm trying to build this uh, mega range battery for my e-bike. And I was in some groups on Facebook, you know, uh, Facebook groups called uh, 18650 Battery Builders for Beginners. Um, that is a joke right there because if it was for beginners, you wouldn't have no uh, know-it-alls trying to dictate uh, what you should do to your battery build. So anyways, I had posted my battery on that group and I got so much negative feedback till it was just pathetic. So I just end up, I just end up just leaving the group anyways, um, you know, because that is not for beginners. That's for, you know, people that think they know it all and tell you that this is not right. You're not doing this right in their thing. So if you have anything that you want to present to other people, on Facebook or any forums and you you don't mind getting uh, make fun of then you can go ahead and do that but I mean you, you sh sh people shouldn't make fun of it. if you got pointers or any advice you want to give somebody that should be fine but people shouldn't be trying to make fun of other people you know it just doesn't make sense so that would never happen again I would never post my stuff on any other group other than my group on a uh, Facebook called e-bike life East Coast and my YouTube channel to my subscribers. Other than that, I am totally done with that, you know, cause you cannot explain to nobody what you're doing. The batteries not even, wasn't even finished. It was just a, a project starting to, to build up. And they was already talking about the nickel strip wasn't just too skinny. They didn't know I was doing a copper sandwich type deal, but oh, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. So, all right, let me start off with, uh, we're gonna just do a little block around uh around my little neighborhood so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna go ahead and get the far drive app loaded up oh all right so here we are i'm gonna have that up we're going to be putting this in high gear and hopefully we you know y'all can see um how much amps is going the throttle the voltage and everything it's not fully charged up yet um it was almost charged up but not quite you know uh charged so we're gonna just do this little run and hope y'all can um actually can see it and uh yeah let's do it all right let's do it let's go this thing is really fast though even though at even though it at 100 something else this thing is fast thing is nuts Woo. can't go too fast on it cause like I said I only got a hundred and I say I only got um only got um I'm running 
I'm running uh, 11 in parallel, uh, the 18650. So I gotta, you know, it's only getting me 27 amp hours. So I can't really go too crazy on power. Or like I said, I'm gonna be driving home or pedaling home. Uh, That's, you know, this is just something, you know, that I had constructed out of, out of the house. I had some leftover 18650s in the, in the drawer and everything. So, it's not a big, it's not a big powerhouse as my other bear is going to be. But, it, it, it'll do the job for right now. Like I said, I'm running, uh, like I said, I'm running 25, 2500 uh, medium power cells. And I got 11 of those in parallel. What? And they can see that the e, the e uh, brake, the e brake symbol is uh is enabled every time I hit the brakes, uh, recharging. And the one thing I like about the Ford driver uh, over the Sabaton is that you can actually can tune this in real time. And uh, what, I'm, what I mean by that is that you don't have to actually stop, um, you know, turn the control off, unplug it, you know, um, the uh, communication wire to actually tune the uh, your bike. But with the Ford driver, you can actually can uh, do that. You can uh, tune uh, the bike. You can see uh, how many amps you're pulling, how many uh, voltage you're using. So I know it has a little voltage tag, you know, because of the, the cheapo battery cells. I mean, they're good, don't get me wrong, they're good cells, but they're not meant to uh, pull, you know, a lot a large amounts of amps but now if i had more of these in parallel because I, I ran out of batteries but the more i had in parallel the more amps i could have pulled out of this battery and y'all know I'm running, I'm running eight gauge wire. And also I'm running a um, XT90 connector. So I don't have a QS8 connector uh, on the uh, on the discharge side. I'm not running the BMS. For a battery that could pull that amount of um, current, though, it's pretty dang good. Pretty dang good, uh, to say the least. So, like I said, you don't have to be a rocket scientist or anything like that to to know about batteries you just gotta when you purchase a sales you gotta get the data sheet so that way you can do your calculations and say like you know if you got a, a cell that's seven amps you know seven amps continuous discharge you just how much you run that in parallel and you just what you do you just um um you do uh seven times what you have in parallel and then you're going to get your final amps of what your maximum amps you can draw out of that battery and that way, if you do get a BMS, you can match the BMS to the battery. Me, I'm not running no BMS in my batteries. But like I said, I want the maximum. I want the maximum discharge as possible. And a BMS will kind of limit that. That's extra money that I need to buy one that's capable 
especially uh, my uh, mega range battery, which is going to be able to produce uh, 885 DC amps to this uh, controller. <laughs> That's pretty impressive though. That's pretty impressive, you know, what this battery can do. I thought it was only gonna do 60. And I started tweaking on it and tweaking on it. And I finally got the limits of this battery, which is 180 amps. I usually keep it at mode three. Uh, you know, not mode three, but mode one and two because i ride my family a lot and you know i need the most range possible and if you uh if i have it on mode three to the max you know i'm not gonna get that much range even though we did three miles on it which is pretty good too so anyway that's all i wanted to talk to you about i wanted to just show y'all uh what this battery um that i built can do I'll show y'all uh, some of the features of the far driver controller. Um, like I say, I really liking it. I don't know if I wanna, I don't know if I really wanna to, to put a far driver on my kid's bike. Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. <laughs> Woo -hoo. Yeah. Like you was on your old bike for a second. I said, yeah, that's the old bike coming down here. <laughs> yeah, I was just up here. Uh, yeah, it's huh? Just taking the ride. Yeah, taking the ride. I was just getting to fill the battery because um, you know, I'm building another battery uh that's gonna even be more powerful than this one right here. But that bike? Mm-hmm. All right, all right. All right. All right, so yeah, that was it for today's video. I just wanted y'all to check that out. Let me know what y'all think of uh, far driver control and everything. The one thing it is hard to tune, but once you once you uh, get the aspects of the parameters and everything, it'll, it'll come second nature and all that. So I'm back at the house right now. I'm fixing to uh, get the kids ready so we can go riding, and I will see y'all next one. Peace.